The SAS Luxie has been through a lot. It's been bashed, bruised and slammed more times on tough tracks than I can count. And the bar work has taken the brunt of all that abuse. I'm back in my shed with the SAS Luxie. It's finally time to give her some much needed TLC. Come and have a look at the state of this bar work. The sliders are absolutely flogged. All the scratches on there. Look at all the rust on here too. The tray I've lent into banks countless times. It's all rusted off the top here. It's just getting real bad. I really need to do something about it. What I used to do before a trip is I'd just give it a once over with rattle cam black, but I can't do that anymore because it's almost too far gone. You're just coating over the rust and it's still going to be under that paint. So it's just going to keep rusting. What I need to do now is pull everything off, get rid of all the rust, and then I'm going to coat it properly. And I'm actually going to wrap to coat it. The reason for that is when it comes time to touch it up, it actually fills in the gaps really nicely and you can hardly even tell that there was a scratch there. As against powder coat, the only way to fix powder coat properly is to get it re-powder coated, which is a big deal. So it's time to do it once, do it right. I'm gonna pull all the bar work off, the tray, the under tray boxes, the sliders and the bull bar. I'm gonna sandblast it and then I'm gonna give it a wrap to coat and I reckon she's gonna look much better than this because, <laughs> oh, poor old girl. Righto, let's hook in. Well, that was inside my tray. All right, the tray is pretty much ready to come off. It's been interesting though, if you are doing something like this yourself, this is a good time obviously to get a gauge on how everything's traveling along. It's been probably five years since I put this tray on. And there's a couple of things I noticed, like some of the P-clips that were holding the wiring in have perished and a couple of the Deutsch plugs need replacing and things. I've used factory plugs where I can and some of them are a bit tired. So it's a good opportunity to mark everything as you go. If you cut anything, I've just been putting masking tape around it and writing what it's for and also taking photos as well. So now the tray's all unbolted. I'm gonna give it a wash, I think, before I um, start sandblasting because it's filthy. But uh, after this, then it's just a bull bar and winch and I reckon she'll be a few hundred kilos lighter. Now that we've got all the bar work off the Luxie, we can hook into the next stage, which is getting everything sandblasted, ready for a nice Raptor coat. That age old saying, painting is in the prep work, well, it especially rings true when it comes to sandblasting. It's quite a time consuming process, but it's well worth it if you're keen to hook in and have a go yourself. That said, if you are gonna have a crack at this yourself, make sure you do it outside. It does make a little bit of a mess and spend a bit of money on some quality PPE, you'll be laughing. Because sandblasting is quite a time consuming process, I'm leaving it for the areas that had a fair bit of quite bad rust, like on the scrub bars and some sections under here on the slider. But for the bigger areas, I'm actually just going over it just with some sandpaper. This is off uh, an orbital sander, nothing too special, but then I've got some finer grade in a little sanding sponge here. And I've also got a die grinder as well to get into those little tighter areas. This will just help on the bigger sections. So I've actually finished sanding this and went over it with some Brunox because you wanna get this stuff on as quick as possible. It is quite a time consuming process to sand all your bar work and paint it yourself, but it's well worth it. I've allowed two weekends for this, one weekend to strip the bar work, sand it and prime it, and then leave it and the next weekend crack into Raptor coating it, let it cure and then chuck it all back on. And I reckon that's a pretty good timeline. Whilst the tray is off, I thought it'd be a really good time to touch up the rear of the chassis. This was something that I kind of rushed through when we did the conversion. And I was never really happy with it. There was a bit of surface rust in hard to reach places. So I thought it'd be the perfect time to hook in, tidy it up and give it a proper coat. So what I've done is I've pulled the fuel tank out. I've pulled back wiring and stuff like that. I've uh, disconnected lines where they've needed to. Basically removed everything, then masked up what I'm not removing. And then I went over it with a wire wheel and a sanding pad where I needed to, just to get rid of that surface rust. I didn't go back to bare metal unless there was bare metal there already with that surface rust. And then after I cleaned it up with some water-based degreaser, went over it with some Brunox. Now, you've probably heard me harp on about this stuff a lot. The reason I like it so much is it's real easy to use, it's just an aerosol can. It's a rust converter and it's a primer. So any little metal brackets I make for cars or whatever, I just give it a coat in this before I paint it and it just really helps to protect the metal from rust down the line. So I basically coated the rear of the chassis with this first, I've let that dry, and then I'm gonna go over it with some satin black. Now this is a top coat. It's just a nice tough paint that'll really finish everything off, make it look nice. And then finally, once that's dry, I'm gonna go over it 
with some of this. This is a high build top coat. Now, this is relatively similar to this, but it's just a bit of a nicer finish and it'll just, you know, seal everything off nicely and get those last little bits once everything's dry before the tray goes back on. If you're looking to get your hands on some Raptor gear, now's the time to listen up. Because on the fulldrive247.com website, we've got 15% off all Raptor gear. That includes the aerosols or full kits like this. So if you want to touch up a bit of bar work, paint the underneath of your vehicle, your diffs, maybe even give your whole vehicle a makeover like I did on Sooty, now's the time to take advantage. 15% off all Raptor gear, fulldrive247.com, while stocks last. Now that the rear of the chassis is looking really nice, it's time to get back to the bar work. All right, just thought I'd show you a bit of an update of where I'm at. So sliders are ready to be Raptor coated. So uh, that's epoxy primer. Now remember I did the Brunox first, then let that cure. Now I've done the epoxy primer. I'll let this cure probably overnight and then tomorrow I can hit it with some Raptor. You come over here. So this is a whole bunch of bull bar componentry. So this is my bash plate for my bull bar. Uh, now these have been Raptored, so they're good to go. These are the brackets for my bull bar, more brackets, and then these are the brackets for the lights in the bull bar. Down here is um, the under tray toolboxes. Now I haven't really hit these yet. I've hit the, this one with some leftover because I was using one of the two pack aerosol cans on uh, these smaller bits and pieces. That's where those cans, I've got one over here, I'll show you. So these cans work really well for smaller stuff and touch ups. You'll find that if you use them for bigger jobs, you'll run out fairly quickly. So just use them for smaller jobs or if you scratch your bar work and you want it to look nice again. But that's looking really good. So I'm gonna let that cure. I'll push this scaffolding in the shed overnight so it can cure. And then over here, I've actually decided to coat my winch. So this is lower housing for the winch. There's the top hat for the winch. And then this is the end plate. So I've Raptor coated them as well. They're looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna hit um, the under tray boxes and the bull bar and tray and stuff, which is over there, with Raptor in a litre bottle with a gun because there's a lot of painting that needs to happen, so that's where using a gun will really uh, come into its own because we've got a lot more Raptor there to use. But before I get into coating the bar work, I've got to dial in my spray gun. When it comes time to tackle a Raptor project by yourself and you want to use a gun, you've basically got two options. You've got the Schutz spray gun, which is this one, or the Very Nozzle gun, which is this one. Both suit different purposes. The Schutz gun is great if you like that more coarse texture because you can't dial this one in. It's pretty much how it comes out of the gun, but with the very nozzle gun, you can adjust it at the end here, and that'll give you much more of a matte look. Personally, for me, I prefer this gun just because I like being able to dial it in to suit what I'm painting, but when it comes time to buy your gun, it just depends on what sort of texture you want, and if you don't want to mess around with adjusting the gun, the Schutz is the way to go. So to show you the difference, I'm just gonna do a test spray here with the Schutz gun, and then I'm gonna swap the bottle over to the very gun, We've got the Schutz pattern up the top here. It's much more of a coarser finish, but still looks really nice. Down here, we've got the Vary Gun, which is much smoother. So this would be perfect if you wanted a bit more of a matte finish. I personally like the look of this on the Sass Luxie's bar work, which is why I dialed this gun into suit. I reckon it looks really nice. When it comes to painting tube in particular with Raptor, there's a couple of things you need to remember. First being, you're gonna use way more Raptor on tube than you would on a flat surface. So keep that in mind if you're planning to do your bar work. Definitely look at getting the leader bottles and using a spray gun. The second one is, once you start using the Raptor, you wanna keep the gun as parallel to the workpiece as possible with a decent distance. The reason for that is, particularly with tube, if you're following it along and then there's a bend in the tube, you'll all of a sudden realize you might accidentally bring the gun a bit closer to the workpiece, which can happen a lot easier than you think, particularly on tube. If I'm following along and then I go to turn and all of a sudden the gun's closer because there's a bend there, so just keep it at a decent distance away and try and follow along nice and parallel. And finally, I personally prefer to do lots of lighter coats. And so if you've got lots of bar work to paint like me, the way to do it is to do a lighter coat, say on the bar, and then move to a lighter coat on the sliders and then a lighter coat on all the other bits and work your way through it. When you start, for example, with the bull bar, I like to go around the joins in the tube first or any bits that are a bit harder to get into. And then I'll do a nice smooth pass. That means that once you've painted everything already, you're not really honing in on a section that'll be thicker than the others.
With the Raptor coating all done, it's time to let everything dry and then reassemble it all onto the vehicle. My prep work has paid off, making reassembly pretty easy. It's just going to take me a little bit of time to get it all done and back together nicely. Well, I don't know about you, but I am stoked with how this has all come up. The bar work is looking absolutely mint and I couldn't be happier. This is something that the poor old Sass Luxie sorely needed after the state of her bar work from five years of doing some tough as nails tracks. Now, a couple of reasons I wanted to do this, the main one being because I've got Raptor bar work on the pony, one of the things I love about it so much is if you do scratch it, when you then eventually touch it up, it looks brand new again. It's one of my favorite things for making the vehicle look more presentable, but it's also tougher as well, and I reckon it's come up an absolute treat. To do all the bar work and the tray and the brackets and the toolboxes, it took me two weekends. So the first weekend was a lot of sanding and then also the priming as well, and then the following weekend, I was able to do all the Raptor coating. If you had a mate help you, you could probably smash it out in a weekend, but it would be a pretty big weekend, particularly if you've got a tray to do as well like I did. All up, two four liter kits should more than cover you as well as some primer underneath it and don't forget i use brunox as well i'm absolutely stoked with how this has turned out just goes to show that with a little bit of elbow grease and some raptor you can make your old four wheel drives bar work look like new again so if you like this video and you want to see more of this style make sure you keep an eye on all our social media pages instagram facebook tiktok and youtube of course turn your notifications on or for more info on raptor just go to raptordiy.com.au thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you next time